Hey everybody, today I'm going to take a look at this rare tiny arcade from 2018. It is the Ms. Pac-Man Galaga 2-in-1, actually a 3-in-1. There's a bonus game I'll get to later. You can see the bottom has a picture of both games. Ms. Pac-Man on one side, Galaga on the other. Here's the keychain. It runs on three AAA batteries that are already installed. If you bought this, I believe it was exclusive to Cracker Barrel, running about $20. There's the on-off switch, the speaker in the bottom. There's no way that I know of that you can change the volume of the sound or turn it off. So I turn it on and you could see the little screen right there where you can select your two games. Like I, So like I was saying, this was a Cracker Barrel exclusive package with the batteries installed. So if you buy one brand new, those batteries might be corroded. Really nice that the light up display lights up. You have a joystick, two buttons. Now, it, what's interesting is this button right here in the middle, just to select your game, to start your game. This other button more on the right, that's your action button for Galaga and the bonus game. And I'll turn off my light so you can see the light up action of the marquee. Let's turn it off and on real quick. And I like that it has a light up marquee. I think it looks really nice, probably even better in person than what you see right here. So let's go ahead and zoom in and you can see that you could select either Ms. Pac-Man or Galaga. Let's go ahead and play some Ms. Pac-Man first. And I hit the middle button there to start and now I don't need any buttons. And as you can see, it's really choppy. Now I reviewed the standalone version. They made a standalone version of all the games you'll see today. And I reviewed the standalone version, and I believe at the time they were like 13 bucks a piece at Walmart. And yes, this does have intermissions in it if you get far enough, which is a nice touch. And it plays okay. For a tiny Ms. Pac-Man game, it actually doesn't play too bad. So going around, let's get the bonus fruit. But yeah, the animation, really choppy. Sounds pretty good, actually. Let's get that one ghost. Oh, that ghost, I guess, was not <laughs> energized. One of the joys of not being able to see. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Now, if you want to select another game, you have to actually turn it on and off. It will go to sleep if you turn it on and don't play with it for a while. So now we'll do Galaga. And let's get it going. So you push the middle button to start. But the other button's going to be your fire, the right button. And yes, you can get your extra ship let's see if i can get an extra ship caught there we'll try and do that one plane if i don't die first like i said i think the sound effects are pretty good in this thing oh there it is there we go we got the ship captured and let's see if on this tiny arcade i can actually free the ship i don't know how good i'll be at doing that I'm not a Galaga expert by any means. Ooh, and I shot the ship. Let's capture myself again. That might be my last ship. Yep, that was my last ship. And so now let me tell you how to get the, at the uh, extra bonus game. So to do that, you have to be at this little start menu. And you have to hit up on the joystick three times. One, two, three. Down three times. One, two, three. And then left, right, left, right, left. Ghost will change color. And now we have Dig Dug. Now, this is based on the Class 81 arcade machine that they made years back to celebrate the anniversary of uh, both Ms. Pac-Man and Galaga. And I guess on that arcade machine, you could also unlock uh, Dig Dug. Come on. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these baddies. So, yeah, you got three games in one on this doohickey which is really neat now what's not neat is what these are going for today if you wanted to get one of these on ebay new or used you are looking at somewhere in the ballpark of uh 75 to 100 bucks they're rare they're hard to find they don't come on eBay all the time, and when they do, that's typically their price, probably between $75 and $100. So it's one of these things where you're probably better off just buying the individual games. You can still get the individual games for much cheaper than that, I believe. Uh, but overall, I think it's like a neat little kind of a... It's a neat tiny arcade. Obviously, uh, having the two games easily accessible. A lot of the tiny games had bonus games already built in that people... Well, they had multiple games built in, but they were set up so you could only access one unless you knew how to mod the system to kind of jailbreak it, if you would. So they basically make one board, they put them in a bunch of the, arc, a bunch of the tiny arcades, 
And depending on the way they set it up is what game would be playing. And, of course, they'd have different stickers. So I think it's neat. I don't know that it's worth the price. Let me know what you think in the comments below uh, of this little tiny arcade. And I will see you next time on the next Nosework Gamer video.